this game came prior to kickoff. Michael Bradley and Greg Vanning, the head coach, not kneeling during the anthem. Bradley, the only outfield player not to kneel during that. Now, he was criticized throughout the evening on social media. No surprise there. Now, I recommend you read his full quote at one soccer. However, here's um, a little bit of it. Uh, so for me, I spent that moment in the National Anthem thinking about Ahmad Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Jacob Blake, thinking of them, thinking of their families. I want justice for them. I want to live in a world and a society where the hateful, hurtful things that have been going on for hundreds of years come to an end. He had his reasons not to kneel. Now, he's been criticized. He'll be criticized, I'm sure, for a while now. But, Ricky, do you understand his point, Michael Bradley has been a vocal advocate of BLM for, for months now. No one's questioning, is he a racist, not a racist? That's ridiculous. But he has, of course, caused some controversy by not kneeling down. Do you understand that? Mm, no. Um, I like Michael Bradley a lot. Love him as a footballer. I don't really know him as a person. Um, but I think what he did was wrong because... I, like, I love the fact that he took a stance. It shows he's, a, he's, a, he's a, an, an individual. But what I don't like is, if, if, like I said to you earlier, if there was only one team in the, in the world at this moment kneeling, that wouldn't be enough to cause so much attention to pro hopefully provoke change. So he stood when he should have knelt. Why? Because if, if half the team stood, it still wouldn't have been enough weight. It, like, so, so I just think that he's done something and he's not thinking about actually how much weight he has to kneel or to stand. Um, and I'm sad because he's going to get criticism. Really good football. He's probably a really good person. And he's, he's, um, his own individual pride maybe is coming to play a bit. What's, what you probably know, Michael. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I think each individual um, thinks it about themselves uh, or has their own opinion. And... Um, by no means does he mean any disrespect by it. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't want to speak for Michael, but, uh, but I think his thinking was, I'm going to take a knee, a knee for Black Lives Matter um, in the moment after that. I, I, I think the national anthem was something a little bit different for him. Um, and, and I agree with you that, that I think there is strength in unity. Um, but, but I don't think that that moment uh, from him and Greg Vanny was there was any disrespect towards uh, social justice. Um, from what I can understand, the coaching staff spoke with, with Jason Bent. Uh, he said that he wanted to stand for the Canadian National Anthem. Mm -hmm. um, so the coaching staff stood with him. Ha having watched um, the game last night myself, uh, m my first thought was, you know what, I'd, I'd probably in that moment stand as well. Well, Justin Morrow, who, who's you know, the, the head, the leader of the Black Players for Change Coalition, came out post-match and fully supported both his coach and his captain. To me, that says everything, that that group, that player says, yeah, it's fine, we understand why he's done this. Now, is it caused you know, a bit of hoopla here that didn't need to happen? Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, and, and I think it, it, yesterday was a long day. That there was talks of the game, is it going to go ahead, is it not going to go ahead? TFC traveled on the day. They charted a plane out there. Uh, you could see the first 20 minutes of the game row. The, the players' heads weren't um, maybe in the game or as committed as, as what it might be for, for a regular league game. Yes, the pandemic's going on as well. Um, it was very powerful what happened two nights before that. Uh, but, but, but it's, um, you, you know, the message is, look, we, we need change now. And, and, and what's happened? And, what happened to George Floyd, uh, Jacob Blake, c cannot happen. And, and it, it's incredible the platform that these professional soccer players have. And, and professional athletes, should I say. Yeah, let me give you an example, right? So as you've been a professional as well, right? We're, we're in a professional environment, in a club, there's things that we are required to do as professionals. It could be from your attire, um, punctuality, um, how you're going to approach pros or if you're knocking on the managers or different things, how, um, ways you're going to voice your opinion. So in, 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 in the professional world, if you don't do things a certain way, you know, we can be pointed out. So if everyone says, okay, we're going to come in today, we're going to wear this, and someone does, does his own thing, they'll point him out. But now he's gone and done that against something that's bigger than professional football. But, but what I like about it is, is um, it keeps the conversation going. Had he not done that, we wouldn't be sitting here today talking about that incident and this issue.
So it, it's done that. So listen, we'll talk about this hopefully for a long time to come. Change must, must happen, of course. But uh, listen, it's sports and everyone's got the right to protest as they see.